welcome back to Throwback Thursday. And welcome back to the continuation of Resident Evil 2. We have just defeated the, uh, the G-Virus mutation creature thing that burst out of the mayor's body. And we are looking to continue on into the vast underground. You know, I gotta say, as much as this is pretty fucked up of the mayor to, uh... I mean, not the mayor. I said the mayor. The chief. Chief of police uh, of uh, Raccoon City. I, I feel, uh, the way he presented himself as, like, you know, a powerful man who runs the city. He's just the fucking chief of police. I mean, I guess he ran things to a certain degree. Certainly had a lot of power. But, you know, I digress here. What I'm... The point is... What I was getting at was his, uh... His little room... As fucked up as it was or is that he has this shit, you know it's 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 a it's pretty it's a pretty cool uh, you know little spot. It's 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 uh, and it, and it's very impressive that he's able to get it taken care of. Up cutscene. Come on, let's get out of here. Don't make noise, dumbass. <laughs> you, you neither, Claire. Come on. <clears throat> Don't draw attention to him. Just, you know, step away. Who am I kidding? Like, like anybody would react r rationally in that situation. That is some terrible timing. Well, at least she let her know that she was alright. Oh yeah, I gotta take control of her. <clears throat> oh. Uh, I think there's a zombie or two in here. Yep, there's a zombie in here! Oh, fucking, he's puking. That is disgusting. Alright, you, you know, stay over there. You stay over there, uh, for now. It's uh, just, it's just the one, uh, the one motherfucker. Alright, I'm going the right way. Ah, you disgusting little fucks. Alright, come on, come on. Ah. What the hell? I guess I had to, you know, button mash just to get him off of me, but... I don't remember having such a hard time, uh... Oh, metal. Okay, there's the wolf metal. Okay, so the, that, that time controlling Sherry was, was quite brief. Not quite as, um... And she passes out. Yeah, not as, uh... Oh, here comes Birkin. I'm gonna make a little mic adjustment here, so sorry if I get some artifacty noises. I felt like the mic was a little too low. Alright, where did I come from? That way? Uh, do I have space? I have a little bit. I think I got an item box coming my way around here, so I'm gonna take a blue herb. 
And then stash these bastards. There aren't a lot of places where you can get poisoned, but it's good to have. Oh, there's an item box right away. Yeah, all right, let's regulate the sewage water. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna fuck with the city's water or sewage supply, that's for sure. All right. Good. Oh, you know what I'm gonna need soon is the valve handle. Sewer manager facts. On the first and third Wednesdays of the month, really freaking arbitrary numbers there, Angel Angelica Margaret, chief of maintenance, will make use of the facilities. Be sure to reduce the moisture levels in the facility by activating the fan, as the equipment she will be using is susceptible to the effects of water vapors. On the 28th of every month, the chemical transporter, Don Weller, will use the facility. The chemicals he will be transporting are extremely volatile. Extreme caution should be observed throughout their transport. On the 6th and 16th of every month... Yeah, these numbers are, like, all over the place. Police Chief Brian Irons will visit the facility to attend the regular meetings that take place in the lab. So I think Irons is, you know, coming up with these numbers, because what the fuck is all this coming from? On the 4th Friday of every other month... William Birkin will use the facility to conduct a training seminar for the Chicago branch of Umbrella Incorporated. As the probability of an attack upon Dr. Birkin will be high, take every measure conceivable to guard his life. You will be informed of all other potential visitors and the times they will arrive as needed. Guide these individuals to their destination safely. We expect nothing but the best from you, Charles, Charles Coleman, Security Chief of Umbrella Headquarters. Some of those, you know, periodic visits make sense as far as... <clears throat> you know, like, uh, the, every, uh, the, like every fourth Friday of the month, every, uh, all right, take a first aid spray, but like the 6th and the 16th, like those, where, where the hell does that come from? It's like, there's a, per, a, a periodic, uh, uh, an interval of 10 days and then an interval of like 20. But, you know, you do want to keep uh, everything separated, and... Alright, let's see. I'm gonna stash the machine gun. Do have some... You know, in the bow gun. You know what? Actually, I'm going to change my mind. I'm gonna stash away the grenade launcher. I'm gonna take the machine gun back. Save that for bosses... And, yeah, the two health should be enough. Although, I don't think I'm done searching here yet. I think there's something in this bag. Yeah. yeah it's not going to take a, make up a difference of s spots. Nothing here, nothing here. Alright, so, where is that? Oh, this is where the little <coughs> bonus room is. Oh, this is where, uh, Sherry was. Um. Right. Just to save ammo, I'm gonna... Go around. Now, I don't think... Oh, I, there's nothing for me to do over there. Ah, uh, you are a waste. Oh wait, that went. I, I meant to go up the ladder. I'm going out here where there's absolutely nothing for me, literally. Like, I don't know if I should have brought another health, but... 
Probably not. Might have been, a, might have been overkill. Oh wait, okay, so there's the item box on this side too. Oh, maybe not. This is, I can't go up this way. Wasn't really so much for the item box itself as much as it was, you know, the ammo and shit that was, uh, you know, kept uh, in that room. Alright, I don't think I can get to the fan yet. Yeah, the fan's blocking it. You got one of the metals, right? Oh, flame around. I thought that the, that the metal was on this side. It might be the other, and then I get Sherry. I get the other one from Sherry. I'm thinking of the Leon scenario. This is why, you know, again, I like how... It kind of subverts your expectations even after you've played it a few times. And, you know, until you get to, you know, you memorize the fucking thing. And I did play this game uh, a decent amount, but not, uh, you know, I, I've, I've, I've done quite a few playthroughs. But I haven't. Oh shit! Who are you? Oh, I see. Another spy sent by Umbrella, right? Let me guess. You're here to steal my husband's G virus, aren't you? You are tenacious. I'll give you that. Husband? Then you must be Annette, Sherry's mother. What? Sherry's wandering around alone in the sewers. You have to help me find her. That's impossible. I told her to go to the police station. What's she doing here? William will be after her. William? That's right. The creature that's been causing all this destruction is none other than my own husband. This way. It's sheer perfection, my precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. It's precious. There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. <laughs> you might hit the sample. <laughs> That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Which one? Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. Are you telling me that he injected the G virus into his own body? The G virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there. Yeah, revitalize indeed. Shoot. Eat this, you freak. Some function. What is this thing? No. Hurry! Wh what is this thing? So those rats were the carriers of the virus? 
As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. I tried to save him, but I'm afraid it's already too late. But... And that's not even the entire story. Every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other life forms. That's why he's after Sherry. What are you trying to say? The bodies of individuals with non-related genetic coding are likely to reject the embryo. But since Sherry is his daughter, that possibility is non-existent. It's an inherent survival instinct. It's Sherry. You go that way. Yeah, you go the way that I came because I already know she's not in that direction. All right, there's some blue herbs. All right, so yeah, the spiders were the spot, were the, uh, you know, where I could have gotten blue poisoned, blue poisoned, poisoned and needed a blue herb. <clears throat> How the hell they know the rats were carrying the G virus? Like, that could have been something that they showed on the close-up, but not, like, in the discussion. Like, you know, the, the humans don't know, but the audience does. Yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, there's no item box here. There is. Um, uh, we got flame rounds. We've got ink ribbon. Uh, I guess I could come back. Oh, wait, I've got flame rounds on me. So this is only going to take up that room. The ink ribbon I could do, you know, I'm not going to need another one, but I really should take these herbs. I don't want to, um, I don't want to combine them. I know that I've, because I've got several reds that I can't do anything with. It'd be nice to combine them. You know, yeah, I got a yeah, a little bit of a boss fight, but this is been I, I would have been nice to save it, but you know, this is also not a uh, very difficult boss fight. It's a bit cheap, just because. Sherry. Jump scare. I mean, you can kill this thing, but you don't, you know, like, once you know the secret, there's no reason to. Alright, come and get it. Get into view. Go get it, go get it. Go get it. Good boy. And now you have no upper jaw. Upper jaw. You have no... <laughs> you have no face. The whole fucking thing is ripped apart. Uh, let me get that for you. How did they... How, like, what constituted the emergency, though? Like, what... I mean, yeah, there was a goddamn crocodile, but... Or alligator, I... Whatever it was, it's mutated. Come on, wake up, Sherry. <sighs> My stomach. It hurts. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Come on. Let's go. Find my ass. You have been. Oh shit! All right. Well, I, I. Damn it! Is there a box up here though? Come on, Cherry. Let's go. Let's let's get a move on. <clears throat> I 
Like, I don't have the eagle one anyway at the moment. Ah, oh, yeah, nothing over there at all. Oh, I think the eagle medal's over here, though. Yeah. Well, there is the diary over here. <coughs> June 28th. It's been a while, but I saw Don today, and we talked after completing our work. He told me he had been sick in bed until yesterday. It really doesn't come as much of a surprise, given how long he's been working here. He was sweating like a horse and kept scratching his body while we were talking. I asked if he was hot, but he just looked at me funny. What's wrong with him, anyway? July 7th. Chief Irons has been visiting the lab quite often lately. I don't know what he's doing over there, but he always looks grim. The expression on his face has been even more unsettling than usual. My guess is that it's because of Dr. Birkin's impossible requests. The chief has been sympathies. The chief has my sympathies, though. After all he's done, after all he's done for the town, he doesn't deserve this. <laughs> you know, how, uh... You know, how deceptive he is to uh, lead you to believe that. July 21st. I rarely drink because I'm on the graveyard shift, but I don't suppose I have much to complain about since this is how I make my living. August 16th. Chief Irons come, came in late today, looking grimmer than his usual self. I tried to joke with him to cheer him up, but he wasn't amused. He pulled his gun and threatened to shoot me. Oh, yeah, I'd say he wasn't amused. I was able to calm him down, but that guy must have some serious problems. I'll say... He knows he can't enter the lab without my help and my medal. This is what it means for the chief to serve and protect. August 21st, William informed me that the police ha and media have begun their investigation on Umbrella's affairs. He said that the investigation will be citywide and that there is a possibility they'll even search through the sewers. He asked me to suspend all Umbrella sewer facility operations until the investigation has concluded. The sewer will sh will still be used for passage, but he stressed that I have the I have to be extremely cautious and that I would lose my job if anyone finds out about this operation. No pressure, no pressure. You know, <clears throat> then I do not get paid even with like extra money, hush money, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, uh. Alright, let's use the valve handle here. <clears throat> it's not worth the pay of a sewer manager to have to deal with this bullshit. I mean, I'm sure it's, yeah, I'm sure it's, uh, uh decent. I'm not, I, I can't even friggin' begin to guess what a sewer manager's, uh, average salary is. You know, I, I imagine that it's pretty good. Even if it is kind of shitty. <laughs> but nothing worth what the, the dangerousness of having to deal with Umbrella and all that shit. Even with... Oh, God. Come on, Cherry. We gotta get to that, uh... We gotta get to that item box. Come on. Come on. Let's get a move on. This is what sucks, is when Sherry is sick and she lags behind, you have to go back and retrieve her to, in order to advance. So I tried generally to, uh... Oh wait, I can't go this way, shit. This is not my item box. I try to go a little bit at a time, let her get caught up. Because I know if I dart past, she's gonna drop to the ground. And, you know, clutch at her stomach. Alright. I'm not far off. I'll dump this. I mean, <clears throat> I don't think that the fan is gonna re kick on. Although I've been wrong before. Alright, I'm gonna ditch this for now. I'm gonna grab some of these. Make a mixtape. Ah, nice. I got way too much friggin' health on me. <coughs> Excuse me. 
<clears throat> Two should be good. Alright, you know what? <clears throat> I will make a save. I made a little bit of progress. I'm... Not well. I mean, I've got so many uh, ink ribbons, and I know I'm gonna find more. And yeah, this is saved on the, uh, you know, the 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 bloody, uh, you know, mod, the the ROM files. But I'm doing this legit. Like I'm not. <clears throat> if I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna reload it from memory card. I'm not gonna reload it from, uh, you know. I'm not gonna save in inter intermittent spots. Wait, did I grab everything? I did, okay. Alright, let's go back. Let's go back. Come on, come on. Dummy. It'll it would it would suck quite a bit if the if the, I have to use the valve handle again. you want to back up but come on come on Jerry this way oh son of a bitch all right we're going this way actually well first thing we need to go back to that damn valve fan valve handle dope 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 so this is <clears throat> This is totally worth it, though. It's like, yeah, I know, I, I could have just pressed on before with the items that I had, but I did want to, you know, stock up on the health, the extra health. And now we got to take a scenic route after um, going back once more. You know what, just for the sake of space, I'm not going to need that for, for a little bit. To, you know, <clears throat> it helps to, you know, pace her to where she's not gassing out and having getting stomach cramps. Alright, we're gonna have to go through this shit, Cherry, and I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm trying to save bullets, so let's not get caught by any spiders. Come on, come on. Jesus, that motherfucker almost dropped. His spider acid stuff on us. Alright, come on, Cherry. Come on, come on, come on. Let's not fuck around here. Come on, come on, up there, up this way. Over the river and through the woods. Let's go, Cherry. Come on, get a leg up. Oh! That motherfucker crawled up and around. I, I was hoping that they weren't gonna, you know, try to get to that gap where the door is. And those blue herbs would have came in handy, plus the use of, uh, the blue, uh, you know, health on top of it, regular green herbs. It's not like you just get poisoned, you get poisoned and lose health. Alright, very good, very fun. Come on. Come on. Back up again. Well, you know, since I got so much space, let's grab the ink ribbon. I don't 
think there was anything else over here. No, I don't need that. <clears throat> it's always slow going over here with the bloody, uh, you know, infected kid. But as much as, you know, Sherry's a pain in the ass a little bit to, you know, move or navigate around with her having to lag behind and not make, you know, being able to use a weapon herself or anything, um, there are definitely more annoying, you know, sidekicks or combat buddies, whatever you want to call them, in uh, the Resident Evil universe, <clears throat> namely Ashley in Resident Evil 4. Oh, and fucking forget about it, Steve. And Code Veronica, that is that, that definitely a lot more of an annoying fuck than Ashley. Ashley was a little, uh, you know, she was annoying, but not, <laughs> not to that level. Steve sucks. I got both metals. Is metal. All right. Yeah, I was fine with getting you sick, let, letting you get sick over there because I knew it was coming back for you. Come on, make sure you go the right way. Yeah, these metals are only gonna take up a spot, my or two spots in my inventory for a little bit, not for too long. Yeah, let's obviously let's go. Come on, you're going the wrong way. There we go. There we go. Oh shit, come on, Cherry. Let's go. Don't get puked on. <clears throat> getting puked on by a regular human sucks, but getting puked on by a zombie really sucks. Oh god, speaking of puke, it's the fucking spiders. They're still in here. I thought it might have been like this whole, the whole zombie refresh. Oh, I'm not in the right spot. Now I am. One down. Two down. Built the shit. Oh my god, you big fat fuck. <laughs> oh, I didn't have to wait for Sherry to, uh, to climb up. I guess as long as she's not, you know, about to die or about to, you know, collapse from her stomach problems, then, you know, you're able to go through a door. <clears throat> Alright, let's... Get anything here. This little train. Nothing in the way of items, though. we go. Very uh, uneventful ride, but you know, uh, nothing. Oh, shit. I need the lighter. I almost grabbed it, too. I was looking at it. And I was like, I don't think I need that anywhere. I thought that it was, this was one of those things you just fire off and that's the end of it. But there is an item box. Not long. 
after this. I will have to clear out some zombies and all that shit. All I brought was the damn handgun, too. Oh, shit. Back it up, back it up. Oh, the puke! Get off of me! I was too close. There's one behind me, too. Go this way first. Get to the item box, get some weapons. I will come back and clear this shit out later. There's also ammo that I can pick up and right, I think I wanna go left here. Wanna minimize my Oh shit! Fuck, alright. I still got a pretty decent amount. Don't get, don't get grabbed in the leg. Come on, Cherry. Do not. I repeat. Do not. It's just the wall. Fuck! I think I might have went to the dead end way. I did. Come on. We're going this way, Sherry. Oh, fuck. I'm hurting. I am hurting. Oh, fuck. You're a lot closer than I was expecting. Come on, Cherry. I was just, you know, it's, it's like I wasn't thinking about the fact, I, I would have wanted to use, like, the bow gun. Alright, we made it to the, to the item box. There's a lot of grenade rounds over here. The grenade launcher rounds, we get the grenade rounds and the flame rounds. So I gotta go back because of the damn lighter. But I actually, I think that I want to go back anyway. I think there's some stuff I can pick up. I'll bring this. I'll bring this. I got quite a few. Oh, and there's the machine gun. I think I'll bring that instead of the grenade launcher. Just to mow down some zombies if I need to. what I needed. I think that's it. I'm a war I'm not I'm not too worried about the bow. I wish I could just leave her here though, you know, because I'm just I'm just gonna come back. But you know Claire does not wanna leave her behind. Oh, I did leave Sherry behind. Perfect. I, I knew that. All right, yeah, that's right. Oh, damn it. I'm trying to minimize my uh, damage. But a couple of green herbs. Which, with the red uh, still sitting in the item box, will come in handy. God damn it, it's like, I, I, they, why, why did I not hear you walking? You fuck. Die and, and enjoy it. You're not dead? Oh, you're dead, okay. Ah. Oh. 
All right, yeah, I'm coming back for that fucker. Definitely am. Why did I keep the fucking valve handle? You know, I could have just grabbed this. I didn't even need to use the lighter. I forgot. It was one of those... You know, it's like this isn't one of those spots where, you know, you're... Uh, it, the, the item doesn't actually activate as an item you can pick up until you turn on the light. This was actually... It's it's like the red jewel in... Um, this isn't the way it's the other one. Um, in the first game where you... You can go up and grab- Oh no, the red jewel is the opposite. I think that you can't grab it until you turn off the light. This is- In this case, you can go and grab that key without having- Firing off the flare. Alright, I'm gonna, uh... I mean, I could- You know, I- No, combining isn't gonna do me shit, cause... I went the wrong way again. Combining isn't gonna do me any good, because... I still need two spots to get that, uh, gun. I don't know if I'm going to even use, to be honest. It takes up two spots. You know, I still have plenty of machine gun ammo. Eh, I just... Uh, I'm not going to go back for it. Fuck that. I got enough ammo elsewhere. Alright, you know what? You go away. Give me a red... To make the combo. I mean, just for the sake of collecting, I kind of want to pick that thing up, but, you know, it's like a... Oh, the lighter I can... I definitely sure as hell get rid of. The weapon box key is going to go away as soon as I... use it. Um... I'm going to throw away the machine gun, actually. Grab some... of my... grenade launcher... Like thinking, do I want to use acid or flame? I'm thinking I might want to go with flame for now. Save my acid rounds for the end. We'll make a quick save here, though. Because this is milestone y, for lack of a better word. You know what? Actually, I'll grab one more health. I'm not- I, I doubt I'm gonna need all this shit, but, um... Just... Oh, wait, man, there's, there's more in here. Alright, well, I'm gonna- I'll put, I'll put one of these away. I'm not gonna take four of them. I don't think I need that- I, you know what, though? I'm gonna have two extra spaces. Why not? I'll bring it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm just gonna hit an item, an item box as soon as the fight is over. Yeah, I get a map, like, right as I'm about to, like, leave the place. I remember my, a buddy of mine playing this game, when we got to this spot, he was like... I was like, alright, I'll go... I was like, I, well, he started going this way, and I said, oh, I'll be going the wrong way. And he's like, no, I gotta come here to... Get a good view of this. It, 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 there was nothing really all that spectacularly uh, memorable about that, but for some reason I remember it. It was funny at the time. You know, it's one of those you had to bend there kind of things, but it resonated with me for whatever reason. Alright, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Wrong buttons, wrong buttons. I was not standing in the exact right spot for this. Why? Oh, I think I need the... I don't have the right key at the moment. The right key is in here. The weapon box key is actually 
for later. That, that's the weapon. It's the weapon box key is in the lab. I. All right, we'll take that. And I'm gonna get a key, I think, and then. Yeah, so this is the key that I'm gonna be using, the control panel key. I grabbed the weapon box key, thinking that that bo that that was the key I was gonna be using over here. That's right. You don't need that key. That key will help you out later. But having a, a wasted space for the weapon box key is not a big deal right now. I've got. Uh, you know, like I, I'm, I'm, I'm empty of space with this, and I wasn't, I wasn't even gonna bring. I was contemplating not even bringing an extra thing of health for what that's worth. All right, so on we go. Last train ride went went fine without any, uh, you know, monster attack or anything like that. That should be the case with this one, right? My stomach. My stomach hurts. <sighs> Hang in there, Sherry. My forehead's burning up. I've got to hurry before the embryos pupate. How does she know that? There's even a vaccine. I mean, she knows she's, that there's a lab, or she's got a pretty good idea that there's a lab based on the files and everything, but... Yeah, well, in case of an emergency, let's not let anybody in. I know, it's, it's, it's convenience for the game. You know, you suspend your disbelief. No big deal, who cares? All right, I'm gonna swap out with this. I might as well have done that and then, uh, like, you know, stashed everything. But again, I don't need all kinds of space. I love how his head just, like, sinks into his chest right here. It just slides over there. Grows a weird fucking beak thing. Additional claw. That hurts a little bit. Oh, come on! Alright, I'm not in any major trouble yet. You done? Now he is. I don't think you leave anything behind, it's just, uh, Mr. X or whatever. We have arrived. Sherry. Oh. in rough shape. finally awake isn't this that's okay you keep it I'm sure it'll keep you safe thank you Claire even though I'm an only child 
neither of my parents ever spent much time with me because of their work. Yeah, including during a fucking zombie I grew apocalypse. Up alone. But now that you're with me, I finally have someone to rely upon. Whoa, that's some shade thrown at her parents. <laughs> Poor kid. Sherry. Rest here for a bit. I'll be right back as soon as I found the antidote for you. Yeah, providing that there is one. Well, this is about to go into the lab. I think this is as good a place as any to uh, pause this, and we'll uh, move on to the, the next and final episode of Resident Evil 2 next week. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.